worked hard to get him to come in here as a um, as a quote walk on, and he finally decided to do that in, with the uh, with the idea that he would play football and uh, basketball too. Well, you know, I thought that was going to be a stretch, but in order to get him here, I said, okay, go ahead and try to do both. You know, and as things turned out, uh, Lang. Um, came to his senses and realized he better just stick with football. So he stuck with football and, uh, and I think it, it proved to be a very wise decision. He was a good thrower, he was a good runner, he did all those things well, but he was, he just knew how to play the game. He knew how to get the ball in the end zone. He knew how to, to get first downs. He can make all the different types of throws. And besides just being a, a great quarterback, he was a tremendous leader. You know, we pulled out a number of games. I think we had four or five games where we had to come from behind to, to get the win. I remember, you know, like up at JMU, they drove it down at the end and scored and tied it up late. Looked like it was going to be overtime. And I started lying on the sideline. I said, we got a few seconds left. You want to go for this thing? He said, sure, coach. I got this one covered. Let's go. So we drove it up there past midfield, kicked the field goal and won it at, at no time left. It was just the way he kind of led, led the team and led a, a very good team, too. One of the great things, as, as was mentioned uh, about Lang during that uh, 2004 uh, season was he threw one interception. To me, that's unheard of. I mean, that's just unheard of for the amount of times we, we threw the football. But then to go ahead and continue to win and have the come from behind wins that we did, and then to advance into the playoffs, be down 21-0 to uh, Delaware, to come from behind, to win that game, which was just un unbelievable. And then, you know, to go to the national semifinals, and that was... Uh, that was probably the most exciting game, or an anticipation of that game anyway, uh, in Zabel Stadium, Cary Field, that I've ever seen, and maybe we'll ever, we will ever see, so far as the excitement with the national TV and all that. It, it's just kind of a storybook ending to a tremendous career. I mean, here's a guy that comes in from Winchester, Virginia, as a walk-on, and leaves as National Player of the Year at William & Mary after taking his team to the national semifinal. That's pretty impressive. I would like to give my sincere congratulations to Lang Campbell and to his parents too for his induction into the William Mary Athletic Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lang Campbell. Well, yeah, uh, thanks for that. Um, uh, you know, it's been a, a big room, big crowd. You know, I, I, I'm kind of different than a lot of most of the inductees here. Where, um, you know, especially Karen. I mean, everyone knew who she was playing three sports. Um, pretty impressive. But I'm different in that. You know, my first three years, no one really, for four years really, no one knew who I was on campus. And a lot, largely that was because it played behind Dave Corley, who was obviously a great quarterback. But um, also, you know, most of the, the inductees tonight. Um, you know, they, they were great for four years. Really, I'm, I'm here, and they said it, you know, I'm here because of one year. But it was a, <laughs> it was a, it was a hell of a year. I mean, it was a <laughs> great year. Um, uh, yeah, you know, a lot of my teammates are here from that, that uh, season. And um, invariably, whenever we get together, things like this or just hanging out, it, we always go back to that season. And it was a special season. Um, and, you know, it's still making uh, impacts in all of our lives, I think. Um, you know, it, it, so I've been uh, very fortunate, you know, being, having, having success in anything is tough. Um, I think everyone here can attest to that, especially the inductees. A lot of hard work. What makes it a lot easier, though, is having a strong support network behind you. And I've been blessed in my life to have some of the strongest just support that safety net behind me. And a lot of people are here um, for me tonight. I'm a big crowd from home, um, family, friends. And you know, I'm completely blessed and honored that you guys are here to uh, share in my event or my evening, my induction tonight. Um, it, it was a, I know everyone didn't get a chance to come to as many games as you know, I would have liked or you guys would have liked to come to, but um, you know, you're here tonight and Thank you for sharing in, and thank you guys for you know a lifetime of love, support, and, and uh, friendship. So thanks, you know. Um, going, Coach Laycock, uh, you know, I think what would have made that, you said you, I, you worked really hard to get me to come here as a walk-on. I think it would have been a lot easier to get me here if you just offered a scholarship. <laughs> 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 and no one else did it. So I, that would have made a uh, decision. I wouldn't have even played basketball. You know, I didn't. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd have just come in and focus on football, but you know, it, it ended up working out in the end. Um, you know, truthfully, Coach Laycock, you did turn. Uh, you know, one of the biggest reasons I came here for was because I played basketball. They gave me the opportunity to play basketball as well. Um, but Coach Laycock, you know, turned me into kind of a gym rap, into a, a football fanatic a little. And you know, uh, we didn't always see eye to eye. Um, you know, you didn't like all of my decision making. I didn't like all your pe play calls. <laughs> um, we had a lot of uh, some you know, interesting discussions, arguments. But um, you know, I truly think that. Whatever you did, I, I, you got the most out of me, and I'm grateful that uh, you know you were my coach. Um, I, I think I, I really think I peaked that last year, um, and, and so I appreciate everything you did, the kind words. We don't talk as much as I would like, but um, I know that if you know I pick up the phone, uh, you're always there to, to help. So appreciate everything you do and continue to do. Um, and last but not least, you know, I think everyone that knows my parents. Um, understand how special they are and a lot of that support that safety net I have comes from them um, obviously I mean they've been so selfless in, in, in their lives um, for me for my, my family um, that it, it's it's an honor to be your all's kids uh, your all's uh, child um, I was fortunate to be able to you know eat go to dinner every night with my heroes and it's it's you guys you know mom and dad you're great, and I think, like I said, I think everyone that has met them uh, can attest to that. So, you know, um, I appreciate tonight, appreciate um, the uh, congratulations to the rest of the inductees. I appreciate everything, everyone that put this on, you guys, but really an honor to be here, a privilege. So enjoy the rest of your night, guys. Thank you.